Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 61. We are in the process of learning how to convert fractions into decimals into percentage and back and forth. Do you understand? Let's do number one. Question number one for today. Day number 61. First question is convert 215% to fraction and then to decimal. 215% converting into a decimal actually is a very straightforward deal. Decimal simply, if you want to convert this into decimal, Which one should we do first? Decimal or fractions? 215% means 215% percent as we know means out of 100 is just 215 over 100 which is going to be 2.15 When you want to convert into fraction is the same exact thing 215 over 100 is the same exact thing except the only complication is that in the exam the answer choices are not going to be presented to you like this they're going to be presented to you in the reduced form. So we just have to go one more step and reduce the fraction. That's what it is. 215 we see ends in a 5, which means 215 is a multiple of 5. 100 is a multiple of 5. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. How many 5 does 2 have? How many 5 does 2 have? 2 has no 5. The 2, one, two goes and joins the 1, becomes 21. 21 has 4 5s. The remaining 1 goes and joins the 5, becomes 15. And 15 has 3 5s. How many 5 does 1 have? 1 has no 5. 1 goes and joins a 0, becomes 10. 10 has 2 5's. How many 5 does 0 have? 0 has no 5. We end up with 43 over 20. 43 over 20 and I think that's about the end of it. We can't go any, any more than that. The, the only other thing that we have to do here is because the numerator happens to be more than the denominator, it turns out that it is actually an improper fraction. So in fact we do have to go one more step. Because remember the answer choices, when, you are, when they ask you something like this, the answer choices, these are, these are multiple choice exams that you're preparing for, SAT, SCT, TES, GMAT, GRE, GRE, these are multiple choice exams and the answer choices have, that they present to you has to match what you come up with here. They're going to go one more step, they're going to convert this into a, a mixed fraction, 43 over two, 20, 43 over 20 is same as 40 over 20 plus 3 over 20, 40 over 20 is 2, so the answer, final answer is 2 and, two and 3 twentieth. 2 and 3 twentieth is the final answer. This is exactly what you're going to see as one of the answer choices and that's what they're looking for. Let's go on then. Let's do the next one. The next one is asking us to convert 0 0.785 0.785 into percent and fraction into percent and fraction let's do it then first thing first let's do the fraction first here 0.785 is what we have 0.785 it has three decimal places 1, 2 and 3 which means if we were to multiply 0.785 by a thousand we'll have a whole number. That's what we want on the top. Let's multiply top and bottom by whole number. Uh, let's multiply top and bottom by 1000 is what I meant. And if we multiply top and bottom by 1000, in other words, in other words, we took our 0 0.78, we take our 0 0.785 and we multiply top and bottom by 1000. We are simply multiplying it by 1, we're not changing anything. And by doing so, we end up with 785 over 1000. Top is a multiple of 5, the bottom is a multiple of 5. Let's multiply, let's, let's divide the top and bottom by 5. So 785 over here, 785 divided by 5. How many 5 does 7 have? 7 has 1 5. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 8 becomes 28. 28 has 5 5. 5 5 is 25. The remaining 3 goes and joins the 5 becomes 35 and 35 has 7 5's. That's what we have to do here. We're going to repeat the procedure here. 
That's, and that's all it is. 7 has 1, 5. The remaining two goals that joins the 8 becomes 28. 28 has 5, 5. 5, 5 is at 25. The remaining three goals that joins the 5 becomes 35. And 35 has 7, 5. Since we divided the top by 5, we have to divide the bottom by 5. 10 has two 5s. 0 has no 5. And this 0 has no 5. Something has gone drastically wrong because we know that 1000 divided by 5 cannot possibly be 500. 10 has two 5s. I said 2, but I wrote down 5. There we go. So we end up with 157 over 20. And I think that's about the end of it. We can't reduce it anymore. 157 over 200. And since the top is less than the bottom, it's already a proper fraction. We don't have to do anything more else. That's, that was the end of it. Let's do the next one. Question number three. Question number three. Convert 7, 8 into percent. What percent is 7, 8? We did learn our 8, if you recall, on day number 32. On day number 32, we learned our quarters and our eighths. If you have not watched day number 32, it's important that you watch the video and learn how to convert. Con knowing, con being able to convert your eighths into the decimal and percentages is no different than, than, knowing, than, than, than knowing how to convert your quarters into decimals and percentages. Quarters are very easy. Well, if you can handle the quarters, you can handle the eighth. That's what we learned on day number 32. Make sure you watch that video. Today is day number 61. If you have not watched day number 32, you have no, no business watching 61. Do you understand? So that's what we're going to have to apply here, 7, 8. 7, 8 we know, 7, 8 is, we know, can be written as 6, 8 plus an 8. 6, 8 plus an 8. 6, 8 of course is just 3 quarters. 6, 8 is just 3 quarters. And 3 quarters we know is 75%. So that part is done. Now we have to worry about the 8th. An 8th we learned, an 8th on day number 32 we learned, that an 8th, is simply a half of a quarter. Of course, nobody's going to argue with that. An eighth, an eighth is simply half of a quarter. Two times four is eight, and one times one is one. A quarter, a quarter we know is 25 percent. We need to take a half of that. That's our eighth. Half of 24 is 12. Half of 24 is 12, and therefore the remaining one will be cut into two, two, two parts, is 12.5%. An eighth is simply 12.5% because 12.5 happens to be exactly half of 25, and 25% 25 we know is a quarter, and an eighth is half of a quarter. That's the logic. So we just add up 12.5, that's all. So this, this part here, 75%, 75% represents the sixth eighth, and this is our one eighth. When we add them up, you're going to get seven eighth, and let's see what that is. Uh, seven, eighty-seven and a half percent. Eighty-seven and a half percent. Now, another way we could have figured out the seven eighth in a more direct way, as long as you know your eighth, as long as you know your eighth. Another way we could have figured out the seven eighth directly is by realizing the seven eighth. is by realizing the 7 8 is no, nothing more than an 8 8 minus an 8. An 8 8 we know is 100%, so it's 100% minus 12.5%, which is 87.5%, which is exactly what we found here. And 7 8 is simply 8 8, which is 100%, minus an 8. So 100 minus 12.5 is 87.5. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.